everybody, Neil from Modo here. Today, we're going to be looking at Tenuos. Transmission network use of system charges, or Tenuos charges, form a part of everyone's electricity bill. They're part of the non-commodity costs, i.e. the part that goes towards paying for the system that delivers electricity to your home. The methodology of Tenuos charging is detailed in the Connection Use of System Code, or CUSC. Specifically, Tenuos charges go towards paying for the central nervous system of our network, those very large high voltage overhead and sometimes underground cables that typically take electricity from power stations and deliver it via step down transformers to the local lower voltage network close to your home or work. They pay for the bit of the network that National Grid Electricity Transmission or ET owns and maintains, the transmission network. This differs from the distribution network, which is the array of lower voltage cables that connects your home or work to the grid, and which we pay for via DUOS, or Distribution Network Use of System Charges. The total revenue for Tenuos that will be collected in 2022 and 23 is expected to be over 3.5 billion, so they are a big deal. The Tenuos tariff is made up of a locational element and a residual element. The locational part reflects the incremental cost of power being added to the system at different geographical points. The residual part is everything else. So the costs not recovered under the locational charge are then recovered in the residual charge so that the transmission owners recover their total allowed revenue, as set by Ofgem. Tenuos charges are typically announced in January for the following winter. Rates are locational and change year on year, so will differ depending on where you are in the country and how much that region is forecast to use the network. The charges you face then depend on how much you use the network, specifically how much you use the network during triads. Please see our video on triads for more information. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.